this a lie. Even before you arrived at BSSC, you had a finely honed appreciation of community involvement. What had you been involved in before you came to senior? Before I came to senior, I was involved in my school's SRC and mm. had been in the SRC for about three years. Mm. In my senior year at BSE, I was vice captain. Mm. Apart from that, I was also involved in my local swimming club, Bendigo East Swimming Club, and also danced ballet for two years mm. in Australia. What else were you involved with during this time? I was also involved with the Victorian Student Representative Council, so VicSRC. I met them through VicSRC Congress, which is this annual event that we all go to, all SRCs, well most SRCs in Victoria go to. Um, I realised the amazing work that they do and I thought, hey, I would love to have a shot at that. So I elected and fortunately got in and I'm in my second term at the moment. Fantastic. Now these projects and um, organisations and the things that you were doing in your life, they must have taken a significant amount of time. Why do you like doing things like this? I love giving back to my community. I mm. think ever since I was little, my mum really instilled in me the value of giving back to your community, connecting with the people that surround you and just being grateful for what your community has to offer. So when I came to Bendigo, I, there was this massive array of opportunities for me to be involved in the community and I said, well Bendigo has given me so much so I feel a duty to give back to it. Before we talk about extracurricular activities during your time at BSSC, I would like to ask you why you didn't say to yourself at the beginning of year 11, well it's VCE, maybe <laughs> I'll let all these things take a back seat and concentrate on my studies. Why didn't you do that? Well, truthfully, I kind of did at the start of year 11. Mm -hmm. I said to myself, okay, these are the two possibly very important years of my life and I really need to knuckle down on my studies. Growing up in Malaysia, I was very much focused on my studies. I didn't do much outside of school at all. Mm -hmm. So I guess when I came to year 11, while I did think, okay, I need to focus on my studies, I also didn't want to give up something that I'd love doing for the past four years of my life. Like I said before, I do love giving back to the community and I felt like if I didn't get involved in extracurricular, I would just be shutting down a massive part of who I am. Okay. Here at our college, you have spent two years on our Student Representative Council, which has now been renamed the Student Leadership Team. First, you were treasurer and then this year you've been our president. What else has BSSC given you the opportunity to be involved with? BSSC has given me so much. One of the biggest life-changing activities that I've done is participated in the Lions Youth of the Year program. From this, I basically had to go into an interview for half an hour and then I would have to answer two impromptu questions for three minutes and then I'd have to present a five-minute speech on a topic of my choice. This was a competition and I was fortunate enough to make it to the national final. Yes, I saw that. That was very <laughs> exciting. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about the impact of NYSF. Uh, so the National Youth Science Forum gave me a big opportunity to meet with other students that were interested in science as well. I went to Brisbane for about two weeks. I got to experience what life is like working in the physics field and I discovered that I really, really have a big interest in science. What NYSF has given me is the knowledge that the science industry is more than just research and it's about problem solving, it's about making change and it's about discovering what our world has to offer. So the uh the titration competition as well would have been another thing that would have reinforced that? Yeah, absolutely. Not only that, but the titration competition gave me teamwork skills, it gave me communication skills and it also made me really patient because we have to be really precise with, uh, with the titration. So there have clearly been some incredibly positive experiences that you've had on top of all your studies, because let's <laughs> remember you're also doing a VCE load these two years. Um, but you know, life is not always plain sailing. And I'd like you to give us an example of perhaps what you might even name as the most challenging event or situation. 
I have gone through a lot of times in this year that has been really hard for me in terms of my mental health, in、mm-hmm. terms of the relationships that I've built with other people. There was this one particular time not long ago where I felt myself getting really irritable because I was so stressed and I was so anxious that every little thing that someone did really made me mad. And over time, I realized that I was ruining these friendships and I was getting. In fights with my mom every single night. So what I decided to do is install a yoga app on my phone, and I do yoga every day and meditate every night before going to sleep. And I have found that has benefited me incredibly. <laughs> I spoke to you in April last year when you were the newly elected、um, treasurer of our SRC, and you named Malala Yousafzai. And Emma Watson as two women you really admired in, on the global、um, global scene. Are these your two main royal models? Would you say the same people, or would you say someone different? I think now I would probably say Greta Thunberg and my mom.、Yeah. <laughs> uh, Greta Thunberg because she has managed to inspire this massive movement around the whole entire world. In terms of why my mum is my role model, she works as an employment consultant for migrants and refugees in Bendigo. You also said when I spoke to you that、um, you had a great concern about what was happening in the animal world, if you like, like environmentally generally, but particularly in the animal world. And you had a, you've got a Facebook page, haven't you? Is <laughs>、yes. that still going? And can you tell us a little bit about that? It is still going, but it has taken a little bit of a break at this point.、Yep. Um, just. For VCE, but essentially, I started this Facebook page in Year Seven because I thought that when you think about endangered species, really all you think about is the armu leopards, the pandas, all the really generic、mm. types of species. And what I found is that a lot of people don't realize that there's actually heaps of other species. Like there's rare species that are going extinct,、um, things like the porpoise,、uh, things like. The monarch butterfly that we actually have in、mm. Rosie Park.、Mm. So, part of the reason why I started this page was to raise awareness about those lesser-known species that are going endangered and what we can do to support their rehabilitation.、Mm. Year seven, good on you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was a I was an aspirational year seven. <laughs> That's great. Also, when I last interviewed you, you said that if you could go back and give your twelve-year-old self some advice, it would be this. Think beyond your studies. It's not just about the marks.、Yeah. Develop yourself and get involved with community stuff early. Try and find out who you are. Would you still say this? Yeah, absolutely.、Uh, when I first came to Australia, I was very much very studies focused because that was how I was brought up in Malaysia. And I think if I had started giving back to my community more, I'd be even better than what I am today. I'm still happy、I'm、with where I am. <laughs> Um, I'm still very happy with how I am today, but I think if, because there's so much that could be changed in the world, and I think if I started earlier, then I could only give back more. Do you think you have a better grasp on who you are now? Yeah, definitely. Yep. Okay. Is is chemistry still your favourite subject? Yeah, I think so. <laughs>、um, now on the very cusp, you've begun your exams today.、Mm-hmm. Um, what would you name as your most important hot study tip? I think my biggest study tip is to take care of your mental health,、mm. because it's so stressful. Because VC is such an intensive experience, I think you need to really prioritize your mental health and your physical health first. Because if you're not healthy, then you're not going to perform well on the exams,、mm. anyways. So I would personally recommend yoga and meditation because、mm. they're really good activities. I found that it's made a huge difference in my life, and I really enjoy doing it. So, Alyssa, thank you for your time today. It's been terrific to talk to you, and we wish you all the very best as you go on into environmental science and do your bit to change the world. Thank you for interviewing. <laughs>